Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Tina. I hope everybody's doing good today. So I have another story that's coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet Ass, Florida. So what's going down in Ratchet, Florida, you ask? What's going down is that this story went viral. It's about a 28-year-old Boca Raton fourth grade teacher. And basically, he was arrested two days ago because he was caught on video kissing a male student in the classroom on the mouth, okay? So when this was first announced, a lot of people were really disgusted. They were calling him a pedophile. And they were saying, you know, how could he do this, especially when you know that there's cameras in the room. So he was arrested, but now there's more to the story. And basically the teacher is coming out and he's saying that this was an innocent kiss and that he has a very close relationship with the kid and the kid's family. The kid's mother is his best friend and he's really close with the kid and the little sister. So this entire situation is crazy. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Police released shocking surveillance video of a teacher kissing a student. 28-year-old Brian Cornbluth was arrested on battery charges back in February for the incident. He was a fourth grade teacher at a charter school in Boca Raton, Florida. Cops say the principal had a surveillance camera in the classroom positioned to face Cornbluth's desk after another teacher reported he was acting suspiciously. Police say the camera caught him kissing a 10-year-old male student on the lips. The victim's sister told police she and her brother went to the classroom to get gummy bears from Cornbluff. He pled guilty to one count of battery. Cornbluff's lawyer reportedly said he was sentenced to a year of probation with early termination at nine months. She also reportedly said while he isn't teaching now, he plans to continue his career as an educator. A South Florida teacher accused of crossing the line involving a young student, but this is far from an open and shut case. The teacher is saying, not so fast. Seven's Vanessa Medina is live at the school in Boca Raton to explain what happened. Vanessa. That's right. This is Somerset Academy that you see behind me. They're without a fourth grade teacher after he was accused of kissing a 10 year old boy. However, according to his attorney, that teacher and the boy and the family had a relationship. He was a caretaker, a babysitter to this family, and he loved those children, according to his attorney. We can go to video uh, that was shot. This is video from Brian Kornbluth's classroom. It shows the 29-year-old teacher talking to the student back in February. Then the 10-year-old hugs him, and they kiss on the lips. According to the teacher's attorney, Kornbluth uh, was very close to the child. He was also very close to the child's sister and was best friends with the mother of these two children. He was a caretaker and cared for these two children for more than a year. She says her client would never inappropriately do anything to harm the children. Uh, the student initially denied the exchange. Cornbluth pled guilty to one count of simple battery. According to his attorney, he did not want the children to have to testify and go to court and have that trauma on the children. Now, adjudication was withheld, so he was not convicted of the criminal offense. Now, part of this plea deal is that he was placed on probation. He was placed on probation for uh, a year, but after nine months, he can go ahead and uh, be that probation can uh, be can end at that time after a period of nine months. But again, according to his attorney, after uh, a year, 12 months from now, he can get this expunged from his record so it won't come up in the state of Florida at all. He can continue to teach uh, at this moment because he adjudication was uh, withheld and he was not convicted. So, of course, we'll have much more for you and the attorney side of what happened coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Boca Raton, Vanessa Medina, 7 News. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So like I said, the whole situation is crazy. They did release the video, and the video is kind of disturbing, you know, to see that. It was initially put out there that he was trading kisses with kids for gummy bears and chocolate bars and stuff, but so far that's proven to be false. Now, his story may make a little bit of sense. He might be close with the family. He could be best friends with the kid's mother. He might have a really close relationship with the kids. But that doesn't really negate anything to me. Um, I feel like this. At the end of the day, this child is in the fourth grade. He's 10 years old. And he should not be kissed on the lips. I have two kids. I have an 11-year-old son. I have not kissed my kids on their lips since they were probably like one and two. I just feel like they're just too old for that. You know what I'm saying? Give them a hug and call it a day. I, I don't know, that that just doesn't sit well with me. If I don't kiss on my children, and they're my children that I gave birth to, I would feel really uncomfortable if my best homeboy was kissing my child on the lips. 
Like, I don't care how close we are. You keep your damn lips to yourself. You don't kiss on my child. And especially in that environment, in the school environment, I'm not really feeling that. I'm not saying that he's molesting the child. I'm not going to go that far to say that because there's no proof as of yet. But I do find that very, very inappropriate. I don't care how close he is with the family or if he's known these kids since birth. It was okay for you to kiss them on the cheek and on the lips when they were little, like maybe one and two, you know, because people kiss on babies. But once they get to a certain age, and especially in the school environment, there's no room for that, okay? That's not okay with me. So basically, as of now, he's gotten a slap on the wrist. He can go back to teaching in a few months. But it's going to be interesting to see if he's able to find another teaching job. I also feel like the police need to dig a little bit deeper into this and maybe talk to other students and talk to other people and see if they're also being kissed by the same teacher. Because like I said, it just doesn't sit well with me, regardless of how close he may be with the kid's family. There's no reason for an adult to be kissing a child of that age on the lips. I'm personally not feeling that. Because like I said, I just feel like after once kids get to a certain age, you don't really need to be kissing them on the mouth and on the lips and all that extra stuff. So like I said, me personally, I wouldn't be feeling this. I don't think it's okay or appropriate for a grown man to kiss a 10-year-old child on the lips that's not his own child. I don't even think it's okay for parents to do that once they get to a certain age. So... Um, I'm not really feeling this teacher's story. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. Do you believe this teacher? Do you think that it's innocent? You know, he's really good friends with the family and that's why he kissed the little boy. Or do you feel like there's no excuse regardless of how close he is with the family? He has no business kissing somebody else's child in school on the lips. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.